Once upon a time there was a cult, and I'm going to call it the Immortality Cult, because I haven't got the foggiest what they were actually called. I'm going to see if I can find out something about them, and if I do I'll post links in the underbar, but I can't promise anything. It doesn't really matter anyway, it's just a lead into what I'm going to get at later on. But this Immortality Cult, they believed that if you were a member of this wonderful cult, and you were a true believer, then you would become immortal. You would have conquered death. You would never die! Yeah, and of course you can imagine what happened next, because the problem was this, with this ridiculous cult was that eventually as people were getting older, people were getting older, and older people tend to die. But this wasn't a problem to the cult leadership. This wasn't a problem at all. Because that was very easily explained away. Because obviously anybody, whether they were a member of the cult or not, but anybody who actually ended up dying, well, mustn't have been a true believer. It was as simple as that. So, by dismissing anybody who was a member of the cult, but who ended up dying anyway, those who were left behind could delude themselves that there wasn't actually anything wrong with the ideology, with all the belief system that this cult was embracing, and they could delude themselves that the problem was with those people, rather than with the bullshit that these people believed in. And why am I getting to this? Well, you will have noticed, I'm sure, that it's only two more weeks before the 21st of December 2012, and you know what that means. It's the Mayan prophecy. Now, before I continue, I just want you to do a little exercise, and that's go to Google and start searching for Mayan prophecy websites and videos and whatever else. But, when you do your Googling, Make sure that you search for sites that were posted, for, for pages and so on, that were posted over three years ago. That's important. Search the old stuff about the Mayan prophecy in 2012. And if you have to, use the Wayback Machine, just to make sure that you're not looking at a recently updated page. Because that's important as well. Because I can tell you, that you will find that the large majority of sites on this topic of, the, of 2012 and the Mayan prophecies are cataclysmic in nature, are apocalyptic in nature. They are talking about the end of the world. They are talking about major cataclysmic events like mega tsunamis, polar axis shifts, um, mega earthquakes, giant solar flares that will fry all communications on Earth and, and throw us right back to the Stone Age, and so on and so forth. These are truly global destructive events that these people are predicting. And you will find that if you then go and look for stuff that is much more recent, especially stuff that's been posted in the last couple of months, suddenly the story is changing. And of course it is, because it is now only two more weeks until these people are going to end up with lots and lots of egg on their faces and looking like the retards that they are for believing in this bullshit. So now the story is changing. Oh, the 21st of December 2012 is the end, all right. But it's the end of an era. Things are changing. It's a spiritual rebirth. And other such bullshit. But the problem with that is that this is becoming like the immortality cult. This is becoming like the self-fulfilling prophecy that people can continue to delude themselves with in the face of reality. And reality be damned. But the beliefs are going to overrule reality. And anybody who is differently minded is just wrong. Is just not a true 
believer. So there will be people who wake up on the 22nd of December 2012 and who will feel like a billion dollars, who will feel brilliant, who can feel the interplanetary galactic vibrations of how everything has changed and how it's all different and how we have entered the new age of Aquarius or whatever other crap. And these people will truly feel so much better. And I'm going to actually give this a name. I'm going to call this the Mayan placebo effect. And it's going to be a powerful force. It's going to... The placebo effect is not something that you can simply dismiss as nonsense because it actually works. The placebo effect convincing yourself that that sugar pill you're taking is some powerful medicine that's going to cure what ails you can often make a real difference to people. And so will it be with this Mayan prophecy and those people who have convinced themselves that this is the end of an era and the beginning of a new one and everything is going to be beautiful and different. These people will wake up on the 22nd of December and feel like everything's beautiful and different. Reality be damned. And anybody who doesn't feel like that is simply not a true believer. Is simply stuck in the old ways. Closing their eyes to reality. Tuning out from the galactic vibrations. Not willing to feel the love of the universe permeate everything. And what I would like those people to do, if you are one of those people who is going to wake up on the 22nd of December feeling like it's all different, and it's all so much better, and everything's anew, I want you to just track the way you feel over time. From the 22nd, to the 23rd, the 24th, the 25th, New Year's Day, 2013, 2015, and so on. And just think to yourself, when, you know, maybe in a, in a couple of years' time, when this is all in the past, and you're waking up one day, and you realize that it's the same shit, just a different day, and all this euphoria has ebbed away. And all this nonsense you've long since forgotten about. And you realize that it was all a load of steaming horse manure. And I would like to hear from people, because this video will still be up in 2015. When was the day that you woke up and you did realize that it was all just crap. Let me know.